Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Romance Vampire in Love. We are here in this cave and we need to find something glowing to put on the bats to illuminate the cave. Um, that's pretty questionable, but I'm not one to question the game and how the puzzles play out. So we are also in this alcove here. We finally got here. We put the pieces of the gargoyle together. It's like a cemetery right there. Wonder if she's leading us to her grave. Just a thought. Okay, I don't think our journal has been updated. No, it hasn't. Okay. Let me see. Is there anything else around? I haven't found yet. Is that? This is the other part of that portrait we need, but we need to get the bird out of the way. No, we don't have anything. You want a ring? Nope. Okay. Glass. Cut it through the glass. Oh, I remember that. Is it true diamonds can cut through with stuff? Oh! Well, it's true in this case. Okay, so. Oh, we got the last clock part. We can start up the clock now. Got some more garlic. And it looks like that's all we have to do with that. Let's go start up the clock. Okay. Let's go. Once, Dracula decided to make me like himself and bit me so that I would wake up as a vampire. But it didn't turn out at all as he had planned. The good in me resisted the vampire traits, and I died as a human. But the vampire left Castle forever, so that he would never be reminded of his failure. Mm. Girl's story. The girl has also become a victim of Dracula. If she died, then her grave must be nearby somewhere. I have to find the grave where she is buried. Perhaps there will be a clue there about how to get out of here. Okay, so if if I can make sense of that, he bit her, but instead of turning into a vampire, she died. Not like died and then came back as a vampire, but just outright dead. So this is a piece of something. There's a square. Seems there must be one more round piece here. Sorry, that was the only round piece I had. Okay, so... Okay. Where do we go next? Okay, so... I just realized this, but our map... will show... the places that we need to go. That would have helped... I had known that so much earlier. Okay. Ah, I think that's what we need. Oh, okay. No puzzle, just straight to the cemetery. Oh. Okay. Looks like the ghost girl is buried here. There's something wrong with this grave. Her soul cannot find peace. Brigitta. Brigitta. So, let's see. Okay. There's one right here. I said she's missing a face! I have to find it. Here's a face. That's a creepy face. Oh! Thank you for opening the door. Something here. Oh, it's ants. I can't carry the ants in my hands. We have gloves. Well, here's the next star piece. Okay. 
Oh, there's a wolf. Wolf. Another power that vampires have is the ability to rule wolves. They can subordinate individual wolves to their will or even entire packs. Everything depends on the individual strength of the vampire. That's another true fact. Uh, while vampires are sleeping during the day, they can have wolves guard their grave. Oh, here we go. Where's the relief? Oh. Didn't even get to see what it said. We have... Looks like a... A bugle! More garlic. Looks like that's the end of that. This woman has a skull face. Okay. Seem like that's it. We get to shout. <laughs> Play a bugle in someone's face. Okay. Hidden object scene. Crowbar, bro broken flask, tongs, cupid, broom, open lock, cherry pie, crown, crossbow, apple slice, spider, and a watering can. Well, here's a spider. And the tongs. Hello, everyone. It's Mubonic Zombie. I just want to let you know that There's I did crowbar. look up that text, and it said, Multum Evergure Nemo Potes, oh, which is friend. Latin that translates to no one can escape death, which is very true. Okay, we have the broken flask, and there was a ring inside of it. No, we just need to find Cupid. Is that Cupid? That is Cupid. We have a crowbar. You want to break into a grave? Okay, so we're not going to go in there. I'm missing. Nope. <laughs> okay. So what does the map say? Okay, we're done here. Now we can go to the garden as well as the cabinet. Oh wait, fast travel. Here we go. I just that cuts down on- Oh! Another hidden object scene! That cuts down on so much time. Which more which more games have fast travel? Okay, horseshoe, pocket watch, matchbox, ship butterfly, corn cop, signature, money to trial, ball, lock, and binoculars. Okay. What's ball? There they are. They're antique binoculars. I found a matchbox! Okay, where to next? And still need to do things here in the garden. Okay. It's also in the cabinet. Chase it away. Oh, eagle? <laughs> Out of the way! Okay, so we found the gargoyle. We have the portrait. Oh, piece of gold. Okay, so let's go put that onto. I forgot we could just fast travel, but it's fine. It wasn't a. This is incredible. The portrait has come to life, and Enron is reaching out his hand toward me as if I could help him with something. This is incredible, the portrait is alive. Perhaps I figure out how to use it to connect with Enron? Okay, update our journal. Okay, live portrait. The magic ball is broken, but that's not a problem. This is an amazing location. I was able to get in touch with Enron through the portrait that has come to life. Enron is reaching out his hand towards me as if I could help him with something. Okay. By the way, this is um, how the home screen looks, except his hand is not reaching out on the home screen. It's by the cane. But the movements are similar. Do you want a crowbar? No. Not sure what we need to give him. But we need it in the cemetery. Ah! 
Trying to pick up the ants with them bare hands, they could bite me hard. Okay, we have gloves for that. Ah, I'm gonna put them in the matchbox. And, oh, we have another cylinder, okay. Oh, we have a matchbox that's filled with ants. <laughs> okay, back to the cave. Ah, is that how we can move them? Get some ants. I think if I sprinkle the mice with phosphorus, it might light the cave perfectly. Oh, every time I think of phosphorus, I think of white phosphorus from Spec Ops The Line. Have you guys played that game? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, I think it was a really good game. It just <laughs> made you feel really, really bad. Okay. Let's see. I'm glad we have this map now to show us where we're gonna go next. Back to the alcove. Where are we gonna get? Okay. The cylinders. Okay. Put together the correct picture. You can turn the parts by clicking on them. Note that adjacent cells also turn. Of course they do. Okay. Okay. Oh, something's glowing. Is that? I have to think what to use to collect this phosphorus. Why is phosphorus coming out of his mouth? Okay. Still need an alcove, but... Wasn't there another place where we need it? Cabinet. What's in the cabinet? Oh! Now the star! There's one part. There's another part. Ah. Oh. It's a pouch. Can we collect the phosphorus in the pouch? We can. Okay. You found phosphorus. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, bats. Oh wow. Now it's lighting the, this cave and I can explore it. We will do that next time when we get back to this very shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!